you might hear a lot of different things from different people about hurricanes. In this video, we're gonna give you the truth about hurricanes in Florida, and we're getting started right now. We're gonna cover kind of the areas you have to be careful of, what happens during a hurricane, what you should do, what you need to look out for, and how much you should really be worried about them. So the first time we experienced hurricane per se, we were brand new to Florida. We had moved to the Orlando area because we thought it would be safe from hurricanes. And we ultimately thought, you know, that being more inland, like nothing can happen. Yeah. We, <laughs> we were wrong. We thought we were pretty isolated. <laughs> well, wrong, wrong but kind we of, weren't. Kind of, yeah. yeah. So that first year that we were living in Orlando, Hurricane Dorian came through uh, Florida. It was supposed to hit Orlando directly. At, at a certain point anyway, because the map always changed. We'll talk about maps in a little bit. Yes, but we were like in the cone of the hurricane hidden. So we try to get ready as best as we could. It being, you know, our first time here in Florida, our first time experiencing a hurricane other than me experiencing one when I was like five or six years old. There was nothing I could do. Like I thought it was fun, but <laughs> not anymore. So Florida kind of has this weird thing where it feels like people just like, oh, Brush it's just a hurricane. It yeah, it's like yes. people that live here, it's not a big deal. But I do remember when all the news was coming out about Dorian, it did seem like people were kind of freaking out because when we went to the grocery store, they were out of stock out of water, bottled water, a lot of like food, food, canned, that, food. That, that canned food and stuff that you could keep in your cupboard that doesn't need to be refrigerated. People were stocking up on gas. So it's kind of interesting. And, and I think maybe part of that is because Orlando is very tourist heavy. Yeah. A lot of people maybe weren't from there, but that's one thing I remember. And also because, you know, Orlando's not used to getting hurricanes as much as like, say, Miami. So when a hurricane is supposed to hit you, it's like, holy cow, how do I get ready? Like, what do I need to do? We were doing a lot of research, trying to get to the grocery stores. We actually went to quite a few grocery stores to just find water because the aisles were like completely empty. And gas, a lot of people were stocking up on gas, so it was kind of tough to find gas. Another thing that you'll want to consider, and we'll give you a tip right here too with this, is generators, some pumps, things like that. One thing to know about generators is they actually kill more people than hurricanes because of the carbon monoxide. So make sure if you do get one, you put it outside so it can do its business out there and give you your electricity in the house without the carbon monoxide. So let's talk about areas and where you're probably most at risk for hurricanes. You can literally find maps if you Google it. We'll put one on the screen for you and that'll kind of show you like who's been hit the most by like really bad hurricanes. Generally the further south the worse. Yes. Generally more kind of the Atlantic unless on the Gulf Coast kind of more towards the Panhandle they get hit a little yeah. more. And where we sit in the Venice Sarasota area seems like it doesn't get hit as much and then of course inland you could get still hit but you know it going over all that land mass seems like it tends to kind of make the hurricane die down and, or even bounces it back out to the water. And even if you're not directly hit by a hurricane, you still experience all its effects. So you might lose power and you might get a little bit of flooding, like especially streets will flood. Typically they'll flood if it's you know raining a lot because you will get torrential downpours. And also another side effect too, I feel like, and a lot of people don't know this, but Florida does get tornadoes. Yes. And, and I feel like a lot of times hurricanes kind of like cause the tornadoes. Like I remember when we were in Orlando, we didn't get hit by the hurricane, but there was a tornado in Orlando. I think there was like five different ones spotted that night. Yeah, so that's another thing too to consider, even though you're maybe not going to get hit by a hurricane, you might get hit by a tornado. That actually made me think <laughs> a little more about the night when the hurricane actually hit and we were kind of watching the news and we had like all the, you have to get all your like furniture that you and your lanai line. brought in and you kind of find a closet that's safe because we don't have basements in Florida. So it's not like if you're from the Midwest, you go to the basement when a tornado comes. So some of the things like that come into mm -hmm. play. And it's also interesting with the streets flooding, how like a lot of what they, how they build things here basically is they elevate all the lots where the houses are and they kind of plan on the street flooding to yes. like take all the water and or they have retention ponds behind the house a lot and a couple other things that again if you don't even get hit directly by the hurricane effects you will see if you're by the ocean or the gulf and you want to go swimming maybe even for the next 24 to 48 hours 
a lot of times there'll be some really bad riptide currents or really big waves, like not like in a fun way, like stay out of the water yes, probably way. Like dangerous. I almost <laughs> actually, after a tropical storm, not a hurricane, tropical storm went through and the next day we took our dog to the dog beach and she dropped her toy on the shoreline and we didn't know we probably shouldn't have been there and her toy was going out into the ocean, the Gulf. Some people will say it's not the ocean. And I had to go get it because she was crying. She would not be quiet about it. So I'm going out to get it and the waves are just crashing over me. And I got to a certain point where even when I wasn't jumping, the water was like here, you know, when, when the big waves were coming and I would jump when the waves would come. Finally, I got to a point where I'm like, whatever, I'm gonna have to get to the point where my feet are off the ground and grab her toy. I got her toy and as I was trying to come back in, I'm going like this and I'm not going anywhere. So I eventually kind of went a little more sideways to try to get out of the current, which is what you're supposed to do. And I had to work hard. I got a sweat going even in the water, but I, I managed to get out. So you have to be careful with things like that or just torrential downpours coming down while you're driving is another thing. Yes. It'll come down so heavy that you just, you, you can't, can't see. see. And literally all the traffic will stop. It's not like it's just like me or her, or us freaking out when we're driving, like everyone will stop. So it's something that you have to be aware of. Yes, either they will stop or they'll slow down, but yes, it can be dangerous because you, you can't see anything there's just so much water coming down that you can't see anything in case of a hurricane florida it's pretty good about having signs of where you know the evacuation route is so be familiar with those signs just so you know where you're going in case you need to leave also a lot of schools are you know shelters one important thing to note is that Mobile homes and manufactured homes are the first that are going to get evacuated. So most people that live in mobile homes and manufactured homes are older. And the reason why they have to leave is not because they're older, it's because you know the structure is not as safe as a block house. So you do need to be familiar with the shelters and your evacuation routes because you don't want to get stuck and be like the last one to leave because that could be dangerous and one other thing you want to consider if you do know a hurricane is coming is what kind of a house do you have do you have like hurricane shutters that you need to put up or can put up you can get like hurricane impact windows so some of these things that and the way they built the, a lot of the houses makes a lot of people a lot more confident if a hurricane were to come that they're just like oh whatever no big deal that being said you don't want to take one too lightly especially if it's a category five i mean i'm sure you've seen some videos of some of the destruction some of them have caused so it is a really real thing and and a concern you should have in the back of your mind maybe not always freaking out every time a hurricane comes like the first time one hit for us but you might want to keep in mind putting up hurricane shutters and things like that we do know, know some people that live on the gulf coast though that they've lived here for like 30 40 years and said they put up their hurricane shutters once and then they never did it again because they felt like it wasn't worth the time and the trouble yes and actually when we were uh, moving to venice we were pretty concerned about hurricane shutters and we wanted our house to have hurricane shutters because we were like, you know, we're closer to the Gulf, hurricane, like something might happen, we need those shutters. And I actually talked to my mentor here in Venice and I told her, hey, like there are, you know, a few homes that we really, really like, but none of them have hurricane shutters. Like, do we make a mistake if we buy them? So she's not from Florida, but she grew up in Florida. She's been in Florida for like 30 some years. And she told me like, no, like you have nothing to worry about. Like my house doesn't even have erection shutters and I've been here and I've been living in it for like 20 years. So that, you know, it just goes to show like we get more freaked out maybe because we don't know any better coming from other parts of the country. But the people that live here or, you know, were raised here or have been here for a long time, it's like it won't happen or not that it's to say that it won't happen, but it's like it hasn't happened for how long? <laughs> yeah, and it's not as risky. And I think a lot of that's because of they've learned how to elevate the home so there's mm -hmm. less chance of flooding. They build them stronger so they can resist the winds. They have the hurricane shutters so your windows don't get smashed. Things like that all add up. And, and again, I think it's also a matter somewhat of where you live. I think someone that lives more like in Miami or something has yes. a little bit more concern to have. but. Overall, I mean, it's been a really long time since you've really heard about a place anywhere in Florida really getting hit hard outside of the Keys. I think that was like 10-ish years ago. Uh, that was recent, wasn't it? Yeah, the maybe, last maybe one? it was like five, yeah. yeah. And and some flooding in other areas too. I mean, it's not, not us trying to minimize it yes. by any means. There's still gonna be some things that happen, but as far as like major, major catastrophic damage, it doesn't seem to happen as often. It's because I think we've adapted the way homes are built and, and where they're put. And one thing to note with that, you know, getting prepared and knowing where to evacuate and all that stuff, 
One thing is hurricanes in general, you're gonna know about a day before it hits, if it's going to hit. There's some good apps. Uh, I've got the one I, I have on the phone. It's like Hurricane Tracker or something it's called. And that app is great because it literally will show you like all the different paths that different people are predicting. It could go this way. And then from there, it kind of like branches off and they'll show all the different ways people are predicting it, it's gonna go. I'm guessing it's different meteorologists, maybe not people like me that are just guessing. <laughs> and then also within from those, they'll show like a cone basically that's made from those models. And it'll show you, okay, right now it's tracking to be somewhere in this area. And that cone could change but it gives you a sense of, okay, am I somewhat at risk or not? And you can kind of keep tabs on it, know well in advance. So things like that are very, very helpful. Yes, and if you do have to evacuate, you'll know at least potentially a day, like before the government will put out a, a warning saying you might have to evacuate. And then depending on what, you know, the hurricane or the storm is doing, they'll say you have to leave right now. Like you have to find shelter right now. So it's not like you're all alone to figure it out. There are some apps and the government website and even cable TV. I remember last year we were watching the Bucks game. I oh think, yeah. And the hurricane was coming through and they didn't interrupt the game, but they kept updating about the hurricane where it was and everything. We, and we, we, were, were, we were getting we were annoyed. annoyed. Like, yeah. we, you know, we don't want to see this. Milwaukee Bucks game, by the way, not the Buccaneers. We didn't, we're not yeah, bandwagon Yeah, Milwaukee Bucks. Anyways, yeah, and, and one other thing that I just thought of too. And they won the playoffs last year, by the way. The finals. Not yeah. that that's important to yeah. the channel, but it kind we, of is. We are world champions. <laughs> but anyways, the, the first hurricane that made me think about Dorian, remember how that one actually just kind of sat in the ocean for a really mm -hmm. long time? So that's one thing too. It's like, if anything, you're probably going to get extra time. That being said, I'm sure there's been some instances where the hurricane hits quicker than people expect. And yes. that, that, that's, I think, where it really could catch you and get, get a lot of people you know, in an unfortunate yes. circumstance where they're not prepared. So just do your research, be prepared, have canned food, have bottled water so that you're not caught in a bad situation and you don't have anything to drink or eat. And possibly a generator. If you have any other questions about our hurricane, leave a comment down below. We'll try to answer any ones that you don't have or maybe other people can answer it for you that have experienced them. If you're looking to buy or sell a home in the area, make sure to call, text, or email me. I am a local realtor in the Venice, Sarasota area. My information will be in the description box below. If you want to know more about what it's like living in Florida, check out this playlist right here. Like, subscribe, turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos, and live breezy. breezy.